Hey YouTube, this is the Death Scouter making another video. And today we're going to be replacing the bottom rollers across my Pella sliding patio door. Um, this is also a pretty good video if you don't want to replace your rollers, you just want to be able to lubricate them. Um, I went through this and, and attempted, let me move my camera over this way, I attempted to buy one of these, not this thing, but just the roller here that I'm touching. I, I attempted to buy one of these seven or eight dollar roller replacement kits. One size fits most at Lowe's or Home Depot. And um, it's just, you know, the, the rollers aren't the same size. Uh, it's very, very clumsy how the roller gets secured into the bracket. Considering that the, the roller's got us go back down into this brace. I, I threw them away, went on eBay and found this part number. So uh, most of the other um, roller kits that I found did not have these little wings. These wings are what keeps this roller assembly from going too far into the bottom of the door. So I wanted to stick with genuine Pella parts to do this. Um, so on my first attempt, I took the door off. And when I realized that I wasn't going to put the new rollers on and there was going to be a little bit of time before my new rollers came in the mail, I just went ahead and WD-40 and then um, white lithium grease the rollers and believe it or not I got a tremendous amount of smooth movement back but um, you know I'm the, I'm I spent the 20 bucks on eBay I could not find anybody else to sell these Pella parts they were eBay specials brand new again here's the part number and uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you these couple little simple tools and show you how to take this door off the track which I've already done so you see some of the parts disassembled um, first thing we want to do is the sliding door has to be opened completely and there's a couple of things preventing that from happening first is this rubber stopper down here and there's another one up here at the top you see the you see the screw holes that I've taken out already the other thing that we need to do before we lift this door up and take it off of the track is we have to get this little guide here. Now, I guess it it's actually serves more of a role of security than it does of guiding anything. This has to come off. And in order to do that, this door needs to be opened all the way. Now, one of the things that will note that will happen when you open your door all the way is you'll notice that you cannot get to the most, I'm from the outside here, the leftmost screw you have to reach in here push up the tab and actually lock the door in order to get this door handle not this right lift the tab open up now you can get the door handle to go flush with the frame and that gives you access to that screw so once your two rubber stoppers are off once this little L bracket here is off and they come out just with Phillips screwdrivers you can literally lift the door pull out from the bottom and take the door right off the track and I'm gonna do that and then I'll uh, well maybe I'll set the camera down I have no idea if I'm in if I'm in focus or in view but let's just do it take the door lift out of the bottom track and then I will oh, gently lay my door down okay so whether or not I got that on camera is anybody's guess all right from here I'm going to do two things. I am going to first and foremost get some type of ruler and I'm going to measure the depth of the roller coming out of the bottom so that when I put the new rollers in I'll adjust it and I know that the door is going to go right back in. It's going to be level. I'm not going to have to try to go through these side holes in with a long screwdriver to adjust the screw. I'm going to get it all done before I before I put this assembly in. Once I do that measurement, which I'm sitting here now at one, two, looks to be about five eighths to me. 
this is simple it's flathead screwdriver and then slowly actually you can even wiggle and pull this just slips out there's no magic to this although the first time you take it out remember i had this out like about a week ago um first time you had to do it maybe get a little screwdriver in there and do a little prying but this is this is it notice the direction of this adjustment screw has to be facing towards the end of the door because that's how you would go in and adjust the height and the balance of the door once the door is back in shape so i'm going to go ahead now and i will adjust the new roller to match the depth of the old roller and then i will simply go ahead and put those assemblies back in and stand my door back up on the frame and screw my brackets and my parts in so when well, the first time i looked at this i was like how the hell does the door come off the frame once i looked at it i realized it's you know two four six screws that's it six phillips screws um and then the door just comes right off and then these wheel assemblies these roller assemblies come right out so uh good luck with yours uh like i said you can do this just to lubricate what you already have if yours is getting to be a little rough to open as mine was or if you can get the replacement parts for these older doors uh, do the door swap hey once again thanks for watching my videos subscribe i do everything from car repairs to home improvements um, if you have any requests let me know uh, but i typically just make a video as stuff around my house breaks so uh, this is the death scouter thanking you for watching have a good day all right so check this out so put the new rollers in and although the door was sliding easily before this is like night and day night and day all right so we're gonna go through this process again lift this tab lock the door push the door all the way over come over here and get our screws and i do recommend for me a longer screwdriver was necessary for the torque of screwing into uh, this sheet metal and set this here and i would like to show you me screwing these screws back in here's the deal i am not going to work one-handed with these tiny little screws and then have them fall down through my deck i'm sure you can figure out right now that this is going to be a phillips head screw with a phillips head screwdriver there's the bracket there's the holes guess what happens next right um so uh then i'll go over there and i'll replace those two now one of the things i do want to no notice or did want you to notice is especially the one that's down here at the bottom it's collected a lot of dirt dust and debris over the years this door is probably all of 18 years old uh it's probably been 18 years since i've done these this deck and this renovation possibly longer and you can see how the screw head is kind of full of junk so uh you may need to and this this flathead i guess somebody put that in when they did the installation that that was not my ad um you do have to be careful that as you fit the screwdriver head down into this rubber hole right because as these screws get screwed in right the head of the screw is going to end up down here where my thumbnail is uh, when you put the screwdriver head in and you try to get it to bite into the screw um, that screw head might be full of crap as mine was and it was just a matter of lots of pressure and slow turning because i did not want to strip that screw and uh you know have to find a, a, a another way to get that screw out so just uh just a little word of caution right one of the things i run into that's why i make these videos right i show you what i've gone through so that you don't have to go through it yourself lessons learned and a little bit of how to so uh once again thank you for watching this is the death scouter uh, i always tell you the cost of my repairs this was um i believe that i got these rollers off of ebay for $27 I don't I don't think it was much more than that um, saw them on other websites as high as 70 I would have paid 70 right because not having a door that opens well is worth 70 bucks um, 
or not having a door that doesn't open well is worth 70 bucks but i did find it cheaper and as i said it was very hard to find this on other websites um so uh, once again ebay where america shops uh you save the day for us home improvement guys have a blessed day guys death scouter signing off